also loving this sunshine. And, and <laughs> I guess not loving the cooler temperatures, mm -hmm. but some people thought the past few days were too hot. So fair enough. Yeah, I mean, we've got a little something for everyone. You know, you can't please everyone. There's <laughs> days I'll say, you know, oh, it's going to be hot tomorrow. You call this hot weather, man? You know, all sorts of things. But, you know, just like Shirley, Laura, I think we can all be wearing our feather boas over the next couple of days. Actually, yeah. to keep us warm at night, we've got some chilly nights ahead. So uh, we'll take a look. I also want to take a look at rainfall here in the forecast. Uh, a lot of people asking, you know, uh, where are we in terms of deficit or surplus this year? So we'll tackle that here coming up in the forecast. But tomorrow, a beautiful day. Really no weather concerns to start your Friday, mostly sunny and comfortable. We'll be in the 60s for most of us. Late in the day, we could see a couple showers coming across the lake. I think much of the area is going to be dry and much of the day will be dry. But I do want to throw that in the forecast. And the reason why is that cold front that caused all the severe weather now up and down the east coast, it's kind of stalled out. But we've got this area low pressure roaming just to the north. You get a little daytime heating with this. You tend to pop a couple uh, showers and downpours in some of the uh, heating of the day, mainly towards the afternoon afternoon and evening with the cold air aloft. So you can see what happened today up towards Wisconsin and Michigan. A lot of that fading as the sun goes down, but we may see more of that tomorrow as we bring in a little heating. And you can see some of those showers that should fade as they cross Lake Erie tonight. National Design Mart Hour by our forecast, though, painting the picture of some sunshine tomorrow morning. A very comfortable start. Winds will start to ease a little bit. They've been a little gusty at times today. They'll be a little bit lighter tomorrow. But look what happens towards the afternoon. We start to bubble up some clouds. Model's not really gung-ho about this, but again, I want to keep it in the forecast just in case. Tomorrow night, though, that's when a front goes by. This will bring an even drier air for the weekend. That'll likely kick off some rain across the area Friday night into Saturday morning. That front takes its time getting out of here, so perhaps some lingering showers in our southern community Saturday. Otherwise, we're dry and becoming sunny, but look at temperatures. By afternoon, we're struggling to get into the middle 60s. This is a pretty cold air mass for this time of year. I'm going to go upper 60s. I think models under doing it. Bottom line, it's going to be cooler on Saturday as we bring in another refreshing air mass. And in terms of humidity, look at that dip Saturday, Sunday. It is going to be a very dry air mass overhead before we slowly return to the humidity as we go on into next week. But let's go the next 10 days, shall we? You can see that little dip in the jet stream that we have across the east. That's bringing the cooler air. A little area of cutoff low pressure will form over the Carolinas, and it will kind of wobble over the eastern states over the next 10 days. If that shifts towards our area, it may bring more clouds and rain, but right now I think it'll be out of here. So that means sunshine next week and dry conditions as the heat builds back in towards next weekend. And in terms of precip on the year, the number I want you to look at is that very bottom number. That's a departure from average on the year. We've got a nice surplus of rainfall in Cleveland. Akron a little bit less, but still a surplus in Mansfield. You're right around average for this time of year. But keep in mind, June has been drier than average. And in terms of drought across the country right now, we're sitting pretty across the eastern half of the country. So we're not in a drought. We don't have any signs of it whatsoever. But again, over the next 10 days, this is how much rainfall we're dealing with. Not much locally, so you are going to be needing to water the gardens outside, especially on into next week. But the good news is we don't have any soaring heat here in the immediate forecast. That's what really drives things out. You can see Universal Windows Direct 10-day forecast bringing in some slight chance of showers over the weekend. And then I have us dry all the way through next Sunday at this point with temperatures heading up more towards Laura standards in the <laughs> upper 80s. All right, I'll take it. Yeah, I like the warm temperatures or hot. I should say. Matt, thanks so much.